Hi, right, this is Matthew Rhodes and I'm joined by Matlock Town Manager Paul Phillips. Um, Paul, just in the last game uh, that we were speaking about after the Clipston game, you uh, spoke before about being a little bit concerned about the slow start to games that Matlock have had recently. How encouraging was it to see you know, Matlock being the ones to really blast out the starting blocks and get a goal early on? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Even though I thought we started well and then sort of sounds daft doesn't it Matthew but like I say I think it was probably might have scored too early <laughs> sort of took the, the wind out of their sails and ours as well but I, I thought first half again we was always tight and cagey again the pitch obviously wasn't conducive to good football the grass was very long and I think we got caught in between two lines of either going into Uzi because you couldn't really play in the third um, but I think they got, they got an, an iffy penalty to say the least that, that make it 1-1 we got in half time and then obviously Jets have come on and, and, and changed the game, and I think I think we've got a realistic. Thing. We think our second gear, second, second half, and made a few changes. It didn't help. Uh, obviously, losing Alex Wiles, and then five minutes in, losing Kellen Chippendale, which is, is massive blow to any team because they give you that drive from from midfield that we really need. Yeah, we've. Uh, so I was just about to say because when I got the. Um team sheet straight away as soon as the game started I noticed it was already a bit out of date so what, what exactly happened to Wiles and Chippendale is there anything to be too concerned about? I hope not uh, Wiles he just got a bit of tightness in his hamstring and he, he, he joined in with a warm up and he just he felt it a little bit more so it was precautionary again which it's been a big miss obviously he's missed the game the other night and um, it's, it's a big miss because when he's on that in there it's sort of doesn't give us that dimension of, of, of moving the ball a lot quicker across that that, that middle three um, Chippy just felt his, 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 I think it was when he had a shot he just felt his, his ground listen we can't grumble listen we've, we've been out for what, five six months as we said and we know we're going to get these knocks because it's got to be managed right uh, unfortunately today it was in probably the two the same players that we, we we didn't really want to lose but we've, we've come through it we've come through it we scored three thought with three good goals um, thought Ross Hanna was outstanding as a as a as a nine as a ten even come back and played in midfield at the end and Thought he was, I thought he was a standout player and then obviously Jez has come on and you've seen what he can do he can, he can take a game away from people um, we disappoint him again as I've just said in there we've not kept a clean sheet but um, for, for me obviously we've got a trial to play in centre half Sam Qualtz and, and we need to get that balance obviously Reese isn't here he'll be back hopefully after, after today so it, it gives you the continuity going forward we've got now two weeks to, to work on stuff we've got four sessions where we've really not had a lot of time to work on stuff which we'll get to the training ground and, and do what we can um, and then obviously go from there I think it's it's, it's become a case now probably with a lot lot other people uh, it, you can only do so much of sparring like a boxer and it becomes a bit repetitive I think we now need the competitive stuff to start and be, be playing for something because you see you, listen you, when my players in there you'll see another level and you'll see another another gear come into, come into play when, when they do start hopefully and I think that's what we need as a club and as a team yeah, you, uh, you referred to a little bit earlier, no, there was another new trialist uh, in the game today. Obviously, we can't, probably can't speak too much about him, but how did you think he got on and no, what are the chances of having more signings coming in before the start of the season? Yeah, listen, I can still listen on he's a trialist like down there, but it's, it's Mo Ali, who, he's been around, he's at Southport last year. Obviously, he's got a good pedigree, but it's not just all about having pedigree. We had, we had another lad the other night because, obviously, we're still looking for that perfect combination at centre-half. Um, I, th- I think I thought he did well. Thought he did well, but it's the first time I've ever been at a club and the secretary says, "You know, we've only got 17 players signed two weeks before season." So it's normally the chairman pulling. You know, you've not got too many players signed, and we've got to pay too much money. But <laughs> no, at the end of the day, I don't want to bring players in just for bringing players in. I need to bring players in for being a better standard and making sure that we're not just bringing in willy nilly. We've got too good of a group. Uh, the lads are out tonight, having a, having a night out, having, so that's a good thing. But they're up. I just don't want to start bringing people in willy nilly. I think we've got to bring the right players in at the right time. We've got obviously we've got a, a long young lad, Jerome coming in Monday from from Rotherham. Uh, he will he'll he'll do really well for us. Been in their first team. I think he's played for their first team today. So we're excited about bringing him in. I think it'd be a really good signing for the lads, um, and someone that can take the burden hopefully as a nine off Uzi well well as he, he misses his first three games. Okay, and uh, yeah, I think they make that seven wins from eight in pre-season, almost a perfect record. We've just got one left before the serious stuff starts, so we've got the game against Dossett. What kind of game are you expecting from that one? Should that be a perfect sort of final test before the season? Yeah, of course. I think it's going to be a physical game. Obviously, they've angled some good players, uh, the good, good team. 
I think it's a perfect file for what we want to do, what we'll probably get opening day against Ashton. Obviously, we've got Walsh all up front, so we'll be a battering round, scored a lot of goals at this level. They've got other players that they brought in who are, who are good. Um, but all in all, it's just making sure that we're ready. That's the bigger thing. Obviously, the winning the winning side of it, like I said last week, eight, seven from eight is good. I'd rather have it eight from eight. But now, you just learn things each week and you, you get yourself, I thought, we finished the game looking like a lot fitter. Um, and I'm just looking forward to the season now, to be honest, Matthew. Obviously, get next week out of the way. I think you're speaking for everyone. No, no. <laughs> I, I, we've had, obviously, we've had John Owen fooled out. I just hope we've had John Owen today because he's got isolate because he's been pinged from the NHS. But again, I'm, I'm not going to grumble because that's going to happen. That's going to come. That's going to become everyday life and we've just got to get through it. That's why you might see a few more players coming in and out because when things like that happen, you, you, you're a bit snookered. But mm. obviously, you've got Wafula missing, you've got you've got Reese missing, and I think they come back into the team. It, it strengthens us. But let's get, let's get a game going. Let's, I just don't want people to start using that excuse. Come two, three weeks in, if, if we've not won a game or they've not they've, they've lost a couple of players, let's get on with it now. We've been too long out. A yeah. lot of people, including yourself and, and the spectators that were here today, have. I've missed it. So let's make sure that we're, we're covered on them bases and let's make sure we make it a full season. OK, well, congratulations on the victory today and good luck for the game against Osset. Cheers, Matthew. Thank you.